Well, this is March 22nd and it's budget day in Canada. And as you probably all know by now, all opposition parties, including the Greens, would vote no to this budget. Uh, the budget is a strange document to read. We know what this government's priorities are, but you can't tell from reading the budget. The budget doesn't mention the fact that it wants to spend $9 billion on new prisons. Uh, the F-35 fighter jet purchase isn't mentioned anywhere in the budget. Uh, the continuing cuts to corporate tax rates uh, just continues as though there's no reason to worry about a structural deficit. The findings of the parliamentary budget officer that Canada is in a structural deficit are ignored. So we continue to see tax cuts to wealthy corporations that are profitable at a time that Canada is in a significant deficit. We continue to see increases in employment insurance payments uh, from uh, uh, both employers and, of course, from every worker who sees their paycheck reduced by the hikes in employment insurance Mr. Flaherty brought in last year. Uh, at the same time, uh, various parts of the budget that claim to be something positive, in fact, aren't. Uh, I'll give you this example. You open the budget and you find a page called Eliminating Fossil Fuel Subsidies. This is the kind of thing that we want to see. Mr. Harper pledged to do this in 2009 at the G20 summit. But in fact, when you read that paragraph, what you find is that the uh, subsidies to fossil fuels will continue and that the oil sands subsidies are being brought down to the same level as conventional oil and gas subsidies. So we're seeing over a billion a year continue to go to fossil fuel subsidies. We've seen an increase in taxpayer support to the nuclear industry in Canada, over 100 million this year to uh, in an increase, so it comes to a total of over $405 million to AECL. And that's just sort of the, scratching the surface. The strangest thing about this budget are the things that are appear in tiny little dollar amounts. In terms of a, a, a federal budget, this is loose change. When you talk about a million a year for something, 2.5 million a year for something, I've been reading budgets for more than 15 years in this country, and finance ministers don't talk about amounts in that amount. They assume that federal departments with their existing program can cover a $5 million grant to the Calgary Stampede, a $5 million grant to celebrate the Grey Cup 100th anniversary, uh, small amounts of money, and even smaller to things like Great Lakes cleanup, $2.5 million a year for two years. So the, the budget is full of extremely small amounts scattered all over the place. And then the budget also includes, as Har Harper tends to like to do, boutique tax cuts. Now improving on the tax credits that were available for parents that wanted to buy their kids hockey equipment, now parents who want to buy their kids paintbrushes can get the same kind of tax deduction. What does all this say to us? It says this is a government that isn't paying attention to its ecological deficit, it's not paying attention to its economic deficit, it's not paying attention to its social deficit. The few good items in this budget, which would be part of any green platform, increases in guaranteed income supplements for seniors, uh, extending the eco-energy program to retrofit homes, uh, extending a program to in order, in order to have nurses and doctors get uh, a, ta a, a rebate, a, basically uh, the debt reduction for their time in school if they serve in a rural community. Those are all part of the green budget. They are part of this budget, and we are happy to see them. But by themselves, they're not enough to justify approving this budget. So we'll see what happens. But at this point, it looks like we're going to the polls. The budget and its details will be trumpeted out at campaign stop after campaign stop. Because as one of the people in the room with me as we were reading at Budget Lockup said, look, it's a whistle stop tour. They can hand out a check at every town across Canada. Little tiny amounts. Bridge here, bridge there. Everywhere you look, some town in Canada is going to get some little amount of money. But the big picture the direction of the country, the vision for the country, the health of our country isn't to be found in this budget. Thank you.